Um, today we're going to be going about over the fluid repost, which is um, it will it's it's going to be uh, basically a category of stuff that we're going to do. Um, the fluid repost, if if any of you don't know, is a it's it's a move that uh, is associated with form five. Um, I'm not too much of an EU historian, so I don't know exactly. Um, where that where this particular move fits in, but it's mentioned in Wikipedia and everything like that. And generally, it's considered to be a uh, attack or a movement which contains both attack and defense in in one motion. Right. Um, the way we kind of separate the stuff out is um, basically it's a it's a repost or a response to an attack. Right. That uses one fluid motion rather than a, a broken one. So we have fluid reposts and broken reposts, okay? So if I just use Ryan here real quick, um, if, so they can see here, if, if, if he comes in with an overhead attack, right, and I go here, which is a parry, and then down to where he's open, that'd be broken, right? Because I have to kind of come in and boom, boom, right? Well, we'll kind of work on is different ways that we can do where as I come in, right, I'm at the same time as I'm parrying, I'm coming down and that continuation of that shot then creates the hit, okay? Um, and there's, a very, there's various ways that you can do that, right? Um, you can do that through thrusts, you can do that in cuts, all that kind of thing. Um, but we'll work actually work on both because uh, responses and that kind of thing are, are very, very important. Um, a, all of these are going to require things with distance and timing and all of that. We will be incorporating dodges and feints for our purposes today. Dodges will be back and forth, right? False movements back and forth. Or, uh, uh, side to side, and feints will be back and forth. Okay, so if I if I come in and like this here, and then go back, that would be a feint. If I'm here and I go here, he comes at me, go over with a oh, right. with an overhead strike, right? And I go over to here and get it. That's a dodge. Okay. Okay, so you'll be okay. Okay, so the first method of uh, fluid repose we will go over is um, essentially called occupying the center. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to use these parries not only to stop the incoming strike from reaching its target, us, right, but we're also using that blade position to get in a touch of our own, okay? And we're doing this by essentially occupying the center line so that their strike goes off to the side and ours goes straight in. Okay, <clears throat> so let's, that's a pretty good one. So as he comes in, depending on what I do, I can, okay, go like this. Now that parries the strike at the same time as occupying the center line so that I can kind of come into here. Okay, you see that a lot in uh, like German sword, that kind of thing, long sword, okay? Um, if he comes in kind of towards the shoulder, right, it works even better, okay? Also notice that I need to have, I need to have this here, because if I don't, if I just go like this, go ahead and finish the stroke, right? He still gets me, right? So that's, what, that's where a fluid repost comes in, is because he's coming in, I can get him, he can't get me, right? Now we can do that again if he's coming over overhead, straight down too, right? So if I'm coming here, like this, but this is, we won't get into this because this is a little trickier because we switch it up, right? But if I just come in like this, that's okay. Come in really for the top of the head there, okay? So like, no, nope, no, nope. you see like that. Okay. So if I'm up here like this, okay, this is another. Now, I ended up intercepting him here, right? That's not necessarily the key part of the technique. What I'm doing 
is I'm going for there, right? And you see, I still have that strike. Now, the other thing that can happen is if he comes in with that overhead strike and I come up, I have that center line. So I know that if I, at the same time I step forward, come in again, right? I'm going to thrust in there, right? And that's a more kind of longer range type of thing, okay? So what we'll, okay, he's got to watch that, right? There, okay? But he also has to watch that, okay? So how can he overcome that? I can kind of push up more. You can push this. up more, but exactly. Move a little bit more over to the side so that when my, there, you see? Then you can get my hands and I'm not getting yours because now the angle is, well, that's a little too great. But you know what I mean. You get the idea. Yeah. Right? Okay. So if I go here at speed, right, and just, good. Okay. Better. So this, I mean, this direction. 